Alright guys, what's up, how's it going? Welcome to today's video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a updated review of Wolf Simple Invest. And I think it's important to do this because I did a review way back on this channel in the beginning of, I think it was January or February, back when I first started this channel. I did a basic review and I, I kind of reviewed Wolf Simple, right? Because I've used the RoboAdvisor for about a year since then uh, at that time. And I kind of, if you guys missed that video, I'll link in the description of this video because that video goes into depth about my first year of using Wolf Simple kind of thing uh, and using their RoboAdvisor. And I think it's important to do an updated version here because number one, it's been a while. It's been about six, seven months later, I guess, down the road uh, since it is towards the end of July right now. And most importantly, the biggest thing is that a lot has happened since then. Um, you know, we've had like the big crash that happened and I did that video just before that, uh, oddly enough. Um, so I think it's important to do this kind of updated review because as anybody who's like a beginner investor, one of the, the, one of the biggest things that's hard to kind of wrap your head around is the idea of putting money into stocks and seeing them grow over time and just kind of having that faith in the market too. Um, especially when, you know, like you get a big crash or something like that, have that faith in the market that things will rebound. And it's nice just as a beginner to see other people kind of having success and and kind of laying it out in front of you that you can follow and stuff like that. And when I first started investing, I was like checking out everybody's um, who was doing portfolio updates and stuff like that and just seeing how people were doing. And, and, and it was just so so much fun to watch other people, you know, do these different things and stuff like that. So um, that's why I did the review in the first case. And this is why I'm doing the, the updated version. And by the way, before we go any further into the video, I just want to say, guys, um, I did start a dividend investing case study with one simple trade where I do every single week. I build a um, dividend based portfolio to show you guys um, how to get started with dividend investing and kind of like track my um, progress along the way. So I'll link to that if you guys want in the description of this video. Um, but you know, I really love when, when I first started investing, I really like to see other people like, you know, putting the work in, putting the effort in, in and then seeing over time how this portfolio has grown and kind of weathered the storm, so to speak. So this is why I think it's super important to do these types of videos because it shows beginners, gives them kind of that, that faith, you know, and, and it reassures them that if they're going through a rough time or if a rough time kind of happens going into the future, they'll be kind of prepared for it and they're not going to do the worst thing, which is sell when you're at a loss. And a lot of people do do that. Um, so I think these videos are helpful because number one, it gets people into investing. It shows them the value of it and going into the future, it kind of helps to train people to kind of not do, you know, silly things like sell your investments or kind of you know, get scared and kind of thing and whatnot and make some bad choices. So that's why I'm doing this video and I hope you guys enjoy it. And before we go any further, I just want to say really quickly that Wolf Simple Invest, if you guys, uh, if you guys watch this video and you do want to set up an account or you're thinking of setting up an account, I have a link in the description of this video. I have one for Wolf Simple Trade and I have Wolf Simple Invest, but the one specifically for Wolf Simple Invest, which is the Robo Advisor, I'll put a link there. And if you guys click that link, it'll take you to this page right up here. I'll just bring it up really quickly. And what this page will do is it allow you to fund a new account. And if you put a minimum of $500 in, you'll get a $50 bonus and I'll get a $50 bonus. Um, I, I talked to Wealth Simple about setting up a better affiliate program and this is the offer they gave me. So if you guys would like to get 50 bucks um, just for opening up an account with a minimum deposit of $500, you'll get a, basically a 10% return right there and I'll get 50 bucks. So you, you're generate $100 uh, split between the two of us. So if you guys want to, um, basically reward me and you guys appreciate this video um, that's probably the best way to do it and um, yeah and reward yourself at the same time because you're also getting fifty dollars just for putting money in and I would highly recommend it I think Wolf Simple um, their robo advisor is a great way to get started and of course if you are Canadian which you probably are if you're watching this video I think it's one of the best um, robo advisors to use in Canada and I do think Wolf Simple Trade is also pretty solid as well if you want to buy and sell your own stocks um, but in this video, we're just going to focus on Wealth Simple Invest, which is a robo advisor. And here on my screen, guys, I have the high growth portfolio. Um, I started this uh, portfolio way back in here. We can see here way at the beginning uh, in March 2019 is when I started the portfolio. And we kind of slowly growed it over time. You know, I, I kind of got serious with investing around towards the end of March. You guys can see I put in quite a bit of deposits here. And then I just kind of you know, I kind of slowly growed it over time. And you can see here that the, it just kept growing and growing and growing and growing. And I'll show you guys things like my dividends and stuff like that towards the end of the videos. And I'll show you guys the holdings and stuff like that. Uh, but you can see that the portfolio just kept growing, kept growing. And then we put a little bit more money here in towards the end of the year, kept growing, kept growing. And then kind of in March, around the beginning of March, we had a big crash. Um, we went from $42,000 in the account all the way down to 36,000. We basically lost around, I think it was $8,000 
over the course of like a couple weeks or something crazy like that, uh, you know, when the crash happened. And over time, we can see that it kind of recovered and we just kept putting money in on a regular basis. We kept putting money in and you can see that we pretty much recovered and the account has been growing. I think when I first did this review video of Wolf Simple Invest, the first review uh, at the start of the year, I think I had like $36,000 or something like that in the portfolio. And we managed to build it up to uh, almost $50,000 here with a positive return right now of 1,742. And obviously keep in mind that like we're still kind of recovering from the crash. So ideally that would be higher, but towards the end of the year, I think it will increase over time. So that's kind of like an overview of the portfolio and how things have gone so far. But we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna show you guys the holdings. I'm gonna show you guys the actual returns. I'll show you guys the dividends and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this is the actual dashboard for Wealthsimple Invest. It's super easy. And, and one of the things I love about Wealthsimple is that it's super easy to set up account. It, there's not huge delays. There's not tons of like identification processes. You just gotta give some basic information. It's super easy to hook up your bank account. It's super easy to make deposits. And all you have to do is put money in and then Wealthsimple will take that money and then they will put it into ETFs. And I'll show you the ETFs that they use for me. And keep in mind, we are using, like I said, the highest growth portfolio. We'll talk about that in just a second, but let's go over the returns here so we can see if we go to return type. Um, they have the default and time weighted, which basically shows you guys the percentage of your money over the course of like the higher, I guess it favors like bigger chunks of money you put in, but it's not 100% accurate. The best way I think to do the 100% accurate is to go a simple percentage overall, right? We can see here that the return we've gotten over the course of about a year, I'd say about almost a year and a half now it's been since we started in March and it's July 2020 right now. We started in March 2019. It's been about a year and a half, I'd say. So 2.5%, but once again, guys, keep in mind, the crash really sent us, sent everybody back. Uh, uh, but going into the future, like over the next couple of years, because we kept investing during the crash, we, we should get like 2020, 2000, maybe 23. We should get some pretty solid returns, I think. It's hard to say, but as long as you guys keep investing, we, we should expect to see that happen, right? We should expect over the next couple of years, we should have a big, good year, and then it'll kind of bring it back up. That's kind of the way the stock market works, right? So um, that's basically our overall return right now. So 1,742, not too shabby, all things considered. Um, over the course here, we have the portfolio here. So once again, we have the highest risk portfolio. And the way Wealthsimple does this, if they ask you a little questionnaire, at the start of making your uh, portfolio, they ask you like, what are your goals? How long do you want to hold your money, etc.? And basically, if you want to make the most money and hold it the longest term, they'll stick you in the highest growth, which is 90% equity, which is basically saying it's 90% stocks and 10% fixed income being bonds. You know, bonds are more, they pay you, they're almost like dividend stocks, if you will, um, but they're less, they, they kind of stay more even, like more neutral, and they have a more consistent return, but the consistent return is less overall like kind of thing it's more like at flatline so like bonds you might get like a increase of like three percent or four percent per year give or take kind of thing while stocks you might have like one really good year and then one really bad year but overall stocks will perform better in the long run but quite a bit actually it's it's almost like if you really want to hold stocks for the long run i highly recommend you you hold more um if you if you really want to make money for the long term and you can hold your stocks for the long term which is basically what you should be doing ideally you want to put more in equity but it depends on where you are in life depends on what you want kind of thing like that but you can kind of invest in the dividend stocks which kind of help bring in that fixed income on a regular basis which is what i've been doing in my other wealth simple trade portfolio and, and once again you can change the theme of the portfolios we have this the standard theme i don't know what these other ones are to be honest it's like social responsible investing and then the halo I, i'm not too sure what you know, you can go and see portfolio holdings. You can see the different things here for the different portfolios. Um, but, you know, I'm not too sure what the differences are really, to be honest. The other thing we have here is the risk level. Once again, we're at risk level 10, which is the highest you can get. You can change it and you can also change it after you already make your account. But obviously, ideally, it's better not to because if you're, you know, at a loss kind of thing, you'll be losing money. So you can always change it later on, but try to kind of pick a level that's close to where you want to be, you know, like there's nothing wrong with picking like a level of five or six and then changing it as time goes on. Uh, but try to kind of, you know, pick something that's close to where you want to be kind of thing. And they have this cool little graph here. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit so you guys can see, which basically tells you, you know, if you keep investing where your money will be at towards the end of, and you know, as you get older kind of thing. And right now they basically say is that if I didn't put any money in my account, you know, just kept it the way it is kind of thing. By the age of 65, I should have somewhere between 
um, 345k to half a million dollars kind of thing and less likely scenario would be 2000 to 300 to you know is quite a quite a, a range gap because nobody can predict uh you know how how things are going to go uh, but it's kind of cool it gives again an idea of how things are going there's also the funding graph if we click on the funding graph here and we say let's say you know we want to put about 500 bucks a month you know or 500 let's say every single week we want to put like two hundred dollars or something like that um, they give us this updated graph that shows us how much our contributions make a difference, right? Like if we go um, by the time we're 60 years old, right? It, it says with the new deposit, we would have $1.2 million net worth with just putting $200 a week. And if we didn't put any money in, which is the current contributions, we'd only have $300,000. So you can see the big difference. When you really put money in on a regular basis, it really makes a big difference. Like you'll earn a lot more income over time. And, and that's the cool thing about, you know, investing and whatnot is, is, it really favors people who put in money on a regular basis and it doesn't have to be a lot like two hundred dollars a week is like two four six eight i guess that's like a thousand ish a month or so so a thousand dollars a month to put into investments isn't that much especially as you get older and you're you know you can grow and stuff and, and whatnot especially in terms of household right if like if your household puts in a thousand dollars a month it's not it's not that much money and it really does add up as time goes on so i like this graph it's a cool little thing you can play around with um, gives you a good idea of like where you're going to be going into the future, which is always super cool, right? Um, but other than that, let's go into the holdings here and let's view the holdings on Wolf Simple. And you can see the cool thing about this is they'll show you guys um, how your how your different ETFs have been doing. And this is kind of the the theme of Wolf Simple. It's about investing into ETFs, and ETFs are basically like large baskets of stocks. So for example, the first ETF they have here is a U.S. equities based ETF called the VTI. This is the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. This ETF is basically, uh, I don't know the market value, it doesn't say right here, but it costs about, like let's just say it costs about 50 bucks, right? Let, let's just say, I'm not too sure the exact value, but if you buy one share of, VT, of VTI, you're buying like $50 worth of a bunch of different companies, like that $50 would be distributed amongst a bunch of different US companies. So you're buying like overall the market, so to speak, so when you buy one share of an ETF, you're really diversified. You're buying a bunch of different stocks. And this is kind of the whole idea of most robo-advisors, right? Let, let's buy the overall market. Um, and as time goes by and the stock market grows, you're going to basically, you're basically guaranteed to get some type of positive result. Now, just because you invest into ETFs doesn't mean you're going to get a positive return or you're going to do really well. But if you pick some good solid ETFs that have a high history of good returns, and you add a little bit of diversification here and there, you're guaranteed to have pretty decent performance going into the, the long term, right? Over time, right? Because over time, the stock market will grow and your good years will outperform your bad years, you know, and it'll just go, you know, just grow over time. That's kind of like the basic idea. And with ETFs, the, the whole idea is like, let's say if one stock in the ETF flops or doesn't have a good year, it doesn't really matter because you have hundreds of other stocks basically kind of picking up the slack, so to speak. So as long as the market overall rises, you'll gain value and you'll increase your you know your your net worth and that's it's a good it's a good approach to investing it's a good approach to beginners, and it's a good hands off approach and it's a good approach for robo advisors and I think it's a great way to do it especially for most most investors even myself even though I buy stocks myself I still base a good chunk of my portfolio in ETFs because I think moving with the market is a good way to do it. So here's the different ETFs that um, Wall Simple has. So the main way they do it is they put the biggest focus on U.S. and international um, stocks. And I think this is the smartest way to do it, especially in regards to U.S. stocks, because U.S. stocks tend to perform the best overall. Like, especially, you know, in the long run, U.S. stocks tend to perform pretty well. Um, you can see here that right now we have the market value, which is $11,000 on my portfolio. Um, which is 50 shares, and then performance is 7.5%. So my US ETF here is up 7.5%, and US stocks are generally perform better in the long run. And then underneath here, we have some international ETFs. We have XEF. This is 22% of the portfolio. So once again, they basically just want to diversify and give you an overall kind of portfolio that kind of covers everything, right? And even though international ETFs and emerging markets kind of really had a bad year, this year because of the crash and everything going on, you know, in the world and whatnot. Um, eventually, they're going to have a good year. And when they have a good year, you're going to get a good result. So, and in the meantime, while you international 
ETFs or your Canadian ETFs, whatever it is, might have like low performance for some years, your US stocks will kind of balance it out. And then when the US stocks have some low performance years, your international stocks will help bring things up. And that's the overall idea of kind of having this type of fund will fall simple trade. And I think it's a very smart way of doing it. You know, I would maybe prefer them to have a little bit more into US stocks, but hey, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you know, as you guys educate yourself and you get more used to uh, investments, you can always change it yourself. But even having like 22% and even this international equities also has some US stocks. So maybe having like 30% US stocks, I would say would be more accurate. That's a not a bad way to make a fund. Like you're still going to have good results overall. And then we have Canadian equities, which is 11% which is kind of like on the smaller side, but the thing is Canadian equities tend to not perform the best overall. So it depends on what type of Canadian stocks you're investing into. Dividend stocks that are Canadian tend to perform better than Canadian growth stocks. So if you're making a dividend based portfolio like I've been doing, that's where Canadian stocks can kind of shine a little bit better. But when it comes to growth stocks, Canadian stocks historically have not done so well. So this is why it's such a low percent, even though I am Canadian, you know, and I want to buy Canadian stocks might not be the best thing to make your entire portfolio out of Canadian stocks because they do kind of not perform well overall in the long run. But they do perform pretty good and they do have their good years, right? So it's always important to hold it. And it's nice to have the diversification just in case. And then going in the bottom, we have one more global equities, which once again, is a little bit of everything. Then we have some bonds at the bottom here which they have, which is 10% of my portfolio. This is the fixed income and they've done okay. You know, you see ZFL has done pretty good with a 12.6% performance, but this is because everything is down. Eventually at some point in time, when the stocks go up, these bonds will kind of level off and they're kind of just there to help balance things out. So when a crash happens or there's a dip, your portfolio isn't going to go crashing down, but it really depends on how you guys want to invest. I think having like a nice diversified mix so that when things go down, you're not it's not too much down because some people cannot stomach that and it can cause people to kind of freak out. So I think having a balance of everything is important. So that's why, this is why I think Wolf Simple does a good job at doing that. They, ha they do a good job at kind of making balanced portfolios and, and these portfolios are good for beginners. And I really would, would say that Wolf Simple is more ideal for beginner investors, but every any, everybody can use a robo advisor. You don't have to be a beginner to, to start using a robo advisor. So going forward, I think it's important to talk about, we'll go over the dividends and stuff like that because this is an important thing. Um, when it comes to investing, dividends are really important and I think dividends are, are nice to see. They have this nice little activity tab where you can see like your contributions, you can see you know, how much you've earned and stuff like that. You can see your deposits and all that kind of stuff. You can see how much you've sold. I'm not gonna go into all that stuff because you guys can just filter that yourself. But the main thing I know a lot of people are gonna to wanna to see and the main thing I like to see is the dividends earned. And so dividends are basically where stocks will pay you earnings for holding their stocks. And it starts off kind of slow in the beginning because your dividends will grow as your stocks grow and whatnot. But you can see here that when I first made this portfolio, the dividends, I actually made three portfolios, but then I eventually just put them all into the high risk one. Uh, but you can see here when I first started off, my my dividends weren't a lot. You know, it was three dollars here, it was two dollars here, it was a dollar here. We had a nice one of ninety six dollars here because that was like the big ETF dividend payment that happens once a year. We had eight dollars, forty dollars, but then you can see that it starts to pick up over time, and this is what happens with dividend investing is like it'll slowly go over time. The nice thing about Wolf Simple is they do offer drips. So they take those dividends and they reinvest them back into your stocks and it just allows them to compound and grow quite a bit over time. So you can see here that they just kept growing and kept growing. You see in December, 2019, we got um, $149 in dividends. And then you can just see that they just kept growing and growing. And this is money that's just, I'm earning by holding these stocks and they're going back in and it's just growing over time. So this is the power powerful effect of dividends. And if you really want to see how dividends can really affect stocks that can grow over time, check out my dividend investing case study because that will show you how dividends can grow over time. And it's an important thing to understand when it comes to investing with stocks. But this is basically, you know, a another way to make money with stocks. And this is my results uh, with investing with Wealth Simple Invest so far with my portfolio. All right, so I just want to kind of wrap up this review re re really quickly. And I know I kind of rambled a lot and this wasn't like the most flashiest review, but I like to do these types of reviews because I think these are the best types of reviews because they really show you kind of what you're getting into. And if you want to get started with Wealth Simple, I still think that Wealth Simple is a great, um, great way for beginners to get started with investing. You know, especially if you don't know a lot about stocks or you're researching, you're kind of learning as you go kind of thing, which is basically what I've done. 
I think Wolf Simple is like a great way to get started. It's a great way to put some money in. You can get those earnings going, and then while you kind of learn about investing in stocks and stuff like that, maybe you can decide to buy your own stocks or do your own thing, or maybe you realize that you you don't want to get into stocks. And, you, and a robo advisor is perfect for you. In fact, a lot of people will do fine just using a robo-advisor to, to do their investing. And I think it's a great, great way for people to get started. And for a lot of people, it's a great way to do it uh, going into the long term. So I think Wealth Simple is a great opportunity. I think it's a great way for beginners to get started. And I, I still think that it, it, it's really, really good. And if you guys, like once again, I highly recommend you guys watch the earlier review, the first review I did, because that one will kind of show you guys my first year and more detailed review. And then I just wanted this quick little update to show you guys that I still think Wolf Simple is pretty solid. And I wanted to show you guys how my portfolio has been doing uh, going into like past the pandemic and all that kind of stuff and the big stock market crash, because I think that's really important. I think a lot of people are wondering, you know, it, are, how is the stock market doing? How is the portfolio doing? Is Wolf Simple still doing good? And yes, you know, my portfolio survived the stock market crash and Wolf Simple did a very good job with that. So um, I just wanted to show you guys that. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any more questions and stuff like that, just let me know in the comments section and I'll get back to you guys as quickly as possible. Uh, but anyways, I still recommend Wealth Simple. I think it's a really, really great opportunity for beginners. And if you guys want to use that link in the description of the video, we'll give you guys 50 bucks. You know, give me 50 bucks and I appreciate that very much. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys want more um, investing type videos and stuff like that, especially if you're Canadian. I do 100% for the most part Canadian, you know, based videos and stuff like that with a little bit of US stocks and stuff like that here and there. Um, so you guys can subscribe to the channel if you guys want more content like that. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was a little bit on the long side, but I just had a lot to talk about. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, take care, guys, and I'll see you guys later.